Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here, back with some more EVE Online. And in today's video I'm going to take a quick look um, at the new drone functionality where you can actually uh, drag and drop them a little bit. Uh, some of you probably already know uh, about this or you may already have seen it on the live stream. But I think it's a pretty cool addition and I think it's worth uh, trying to cover that uh, in a separate video just so that everybody has a, a chance to quickly take a look at it. So the new functionality I'm talking about is if you want to take your drones out, you don't have to actually right click the group anymore, but you can just grab it, pull it out in space and there you go, your drones will end up um, in space automatically like that. So that's a little bit uh, faster. Now one thing that someone asked me uh, to, to see if, uh, if it works and to check it out was if you could actually give uh, individual um, attack orders through this functionality. So now I'm going to target four separate targets and then let's let's have a quick look if that works. So let's say I want that hobgoblin here and then that hobgoblin there. But unfortunately, as you can see, that doesn't work. So I actually have to either give the command uh, to attack with the F shortcut or if I want to have individual drones on them, I have to select the target and then right click engage target. So uh, well, that would have been very cool, of course. Um, basically, uh, what I do in the Ishtar very often in sites is I take out five uh, sentry drones who don't move but have good range and great damage. And then I put them on individual frigates because uh, putting all five uh, sentry drones uh, on uh, all of those frigates, uh, on a single frigate is actually overkill in, in, in damage. So uh, it's not as efficient as it could be. And if we could simply drag and drop um, our drones uh, onto targets and then you just have to put that window a little bit closer to your targets, uh, then you could actually gain a lot of time for individual commands. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. So I might as well just keep my, uh, keep my window out here um, below, my, uh, below my overview. And yes, that does not work, unfortunately. So let's quickly do the site. Maybe we'll get uh, a Shadow Serpentis frigate that uh, spawns in, who knows. And one big advantage of having your drones out, of course, is that they will actually, when they're set on aggressive, start uh, attacking automatically uh, without you needing to actually uh, select the target or, or give them the order. But that only happens if you get attacked, of course. And uh, yes, that's, that's unfortunate, you know, if I could give the orders that way, uh, just bring them close for individual drone management, that would have been a nice improvement. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Let's grab some of these charges here. Maybe there's something else that we could take. As you can see, that's really some nothing special in these uh, small combat anomalies, which anyone can just simply uh, warp to if they want to. Uh, my drones are doing okay, taking care of that one. And another five spawning in. What's up in here? Nothing special. Maybe we should also do a little bit of salvaging then, but yeah, this is hardly a challenge. Of course, but unfortunately I have not found any good sites uh, in Solitude so far yet. So I just decided to pick a quick uh, combat anomaly to show and talk a little bit about this, this drag and drop functionality uh, from the drones window. Which unfortunately only seems to work for deploying your drones uh, in space and then for bringing them back into the drone bay. So man, this salvager is having quite a lot of... <laughs> Quite a lot of problems. Ah, successfully, 325,000 ISK. Really, not actually worth the trouble. But we get some nice explosions from it as well. So there they keep going. Let's see if we get lucky and have a Shadow Serpentis spawning or not. Nope, oh, just some more Corellior stuff. So yeah, they're, they're pretty fast with 5 Hobgoblin 2s. This is pretty easy. Just keep going. He's down. Next. Defender. Shield's gone. Halfway in structure. 
and gone as well. Next up the guard. Ooh, they actually managed to get through my shields. That's pretty impressive for just a bunch of frigates. They do spawn right on top of you. However... And that one is down as well. Next up the sentinel. And maybe just another quick... Oh, there we go. Lucky Shadow Serpentis soldier. That's that's pretty lucky. Uh, this doesn't happen every time, but yeah, let's let's check out his loot. Shadow Serpentis wreck. That's a small chance you get in these uh, anomalies. And what do I get? Just some uh, just some charges and a Shadow Serpentis stack. That's actually no, just three thousand ISK. So okay, nothing special to report on the loot front. But I did want to talk a little bit and make a separate video about this drag and drop functionality. So now if you want to get your drones back into the drone bay or maybe just the one with damage, you can just select it and then uh, drag it into the drone bay and it will give it the return order once it's in range. Well, it's actually already in there and it still says returning. Oh, well, no, uh, after a while, there you go, after a while it actually will, will show that it's in the drone bay. So you can also, of course, grab the entire uh, group folder, put them in there, and there, th there they go, they're back out. But that's really all it does, so unfortunately, uh, no attack commands can be given this way. Uh, one, one quick warning about this, though. Let's say that I have uh, the small drones out, and I'm in a little bit of a hurry, but I haven't minimized uh, the drones in bay tab. Uh, what happens if you accidentally drag it on, let's say, the medium group here? they will actually join that medium group so that's just one thing that you have to be careful about if you want to fix it then you have to select the drones again and then move them back into their own group um, and then you can just work with it but it's it's one thing to uh, to keep in mind uh, you do want to minimize this this uh, these drones in bay tab uh, just so that you can uh, drag and drop without having to worry about where the hell are, are my small drones all of a sudden because you put them in one of the folders and uh, it's not a problem when you can only uh, have five drones but on something like the ishtar with four separate groups and maybe even more if you want to salvage drones ecm drones uh, that is something to keep in mind but uh, yeah there you go guys quick video on the new drag and drop functionality uh, it, it's just a nice little addition, uh, it makes it a little faster to get them out in all the right clicking. Um, I, really, uh, I really like it, uh, unfortunately no attack commands can be given this way. Uh, that's it for this video guys, see you all next time.